Okay, so I've had this little Fender Mustang bass bought in. Little short scale bass, 30 inch scale length on it. Nothing massively wrong with it, just needs a bit of a setup. Owner's saying that the intonation is absolutely miles out. Other than that, it looks fairly, fairly good. So I don't think there's going to be any major work here. So first things first, we're just going to have a quick look over this. Just check out some of the basics. And the kind of string action is where I'd kind of put it at. It's about two millimeters. Obviously this is a short scale bass. So the string tension is lower, which means they're a little bit floppier. So you might struggle with a really, really super low action on these. And you might also potentially need a little bit more neck relief. I mean, it's all down to player preference, of course. That's just a hair over 12 thou. So all of that, pretty happy with. But the problem is the intonation is absolutely miles out. So I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer and we'll have a look at some of the issues I'm facing here. I've had a quick go at just tuning up the intonation a little bit and the adjustment screw on the E string is a little bit corroded. It's not kind of adjusting as far back as it needs to. So I'll bring you in, we'll get the string off, we'll strip this saddle down and see if we can clean everything up and get it operating as it should. The strings are staying on, um, they're relatively new. Bass strings don't age and they're expensive, so might as well keep these on if we can. And you might be able to see here that all this is very dirty. The spring's a little bit rusty and if I try and tighten this screw up any more than it already is, it just completely refuses to move. I don't want to force it. Could quite easily break quite a, a little narrow set screw like that. So to start off with, we're going to get this string off and we can strip this saddle out completely. I don't know if you can see, but there's quite a bit of corrosion on this screw here. So I'm gonna give this a bath in some cleaning solution just to try and get that little bit of corrosion off there. Probably leave that in there a few hours and then we can get back to this and see if we can get it adjusting properly. Okay, so that's all cleaned up now. I didn't have any special magic fluid for doing that with. I just literally dropped it in a little bath of white vinegar for a couple of hours and that's got rid of most of the crud on there. And then I've just kind of lubricated everything up and run it all the way through the saddle just to make sure that everything's working as it should and it's absolutely fine now. So that can all be going back together now. Okay, so we're kind of ready to put the string back on now, but I just want to do one little job before I do that, before I forget that I need to do it. And that's to just tighten up the collar on this switch. It's a little bit loose and wobbly. And to do that properly, I'm gonna to have to just lift the pit guard up a little bit.
and all I used to tighten that up was this little tool I've made, made it years ago actually, and it's just a little bit of pipe and I've filled it full of JB Weld and cast that onto the shape of one of these serrated nuts. And daft as it sounds, that JB Weld is enough to actually tighten these up. I fully anticipate that this will wear out at some point and I might even extend to buying the real tool at that point, but for the time being, that works just fine. Now I said I wasn't gonna take the strings off and that the fretwork looked fine, but actually on second examination, the frets down this end of the neck are all a little bit manky and corroded. I think at some point this base has been stored somewhere that's not particularly dry because there is a little bit of corrosion showing on some of the screw tops and obviously in the bridge saddle screw as well. So I'll get the strings off this and we'll have a look at getting these frets sorted out. And as you can probably see on these frets, there's quite a little bit of corrosion on them and we can't leave them like that because it's only going to get worse so I'm just literally going to go at them with some fret erasers and just give them a very quick clean up won't take much at all just to work my way through the various grits Okay, so that's all the remedial work done now, so it's just a case of getting this set up properly. I already know it's fairly well dialed in. Most of the variables are close to where they need to be, with the exception of the intonation. So as that's the biggest change I'm gonna be making, I'll start on that, and then we can just get everything back up to where it needs to be once that's in place. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this meter rule, and I'm gonna roughly set up the saddle on the thinnest string. So in this case, the G string. The way we do that is we measure to the 12th fret, which gives us 15 inches. So that means that the scale length on this is 30 inches. So we need to set the center of this saddle to about 30 inches. And that is actually very, very close. So that's our starting point. And we'll just check the intonation on this string first. and it's ever so slightly sharp. So if it's sharp, we need to make the string longer. And we'll just pull that saddle back a little bit. Bring it back up to pitch and check it again. Little touch more. And it's just a case of kind of going backwards and forwards until you get them absolutely spot on. Like that. So now it's just a case of doing the rest of the strings in exactly the same way. That's very, very close. If I have to do a lot of adjustment, I generally slacken the string off a little bit. But if it's, if it's close, I don't. You're not really putting that much more pressure on any of the components. 
but I think this is the one that's going to be a problem. Actually, <coughs> by just eyeballing that, I've got it pretty close. What do you know? Second time out, it's spot on. So next up is we just need to do a very quick check for neck relief, string action. Pickup heights look to be absolutely fine, so we don't need to do anything there. And then we can wrap this one up, get it back to the owner. So there we go. All we need to do now is give the owner a ring, tell him it's ready to collect. Bingo. So the owner's just been to collect this one and he's very happy with the results. And he did explain to me that he's gigged this bass a lot over the last few years and he tends to play like really hot, sweaty gigs. So all the corrosion was basically down to his sweaty hands. So I've just told him to keep a small towel in his guitar case and give it a wipe down at the end of the gig just to kind of prevent these things happening again in the future. I hope you found that useful and there's some little tips that you might have picked up from that. If so, don't forget to drop me a like. If there's anything you didn't quite understand, just ask me a question in the comments. Always happy to answer those. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.